Hello, I've got for you today the latest uh, release from Mont Blanc, the 2020 edition of the Patron of the Arts, homage to Moctezuma, uh, the 15th century Aztec emperor known for uh, unifying many of the various, uh, I guess, uh, factions of central uh, Mesoamerica. Uh, so, this is a very interesting pen. Uh, it doesn't quite fit in with my collection in terms of aesthetic, but it definitely fits in with my uh, with my criteria for a very unusual pen. So, if you like unusual pens, this is definitely uh, up there on the list of unusual mobile pens. If you've not seen it or uh, heard anything about it yet, I'm quite glad to be one of the first to uh, share it with you. Uh, so, Moctezuma was uh, the well, Moctezuma the first is the uh, well uh, one of the greatest emperors that they had. Uh, not to be confused with Montezuma or Moctezuma the second, the emperor had the unfortunate distinction of being the ruler at the time of the Spanish uh, colonial times uh, in the 16th century to meet with Cortes. Uh, so there are a lot of emblems and a lot of motifs on this pen. I'm not familiar with them. Uh, I've not had time to read them. This is the first I get to look at the, uh, the pens or the pen booklet, still in its original wrapping. Uh, the box is wood. Uh, very interesting motif on the front. I'm not too sure if the double-headed serpent uh, is different from Quetzalcoatl, the serpent god uh, of, I think, patron of the arts too, uh, or god of craftsmanship, uh, Quetzalcoatl, and a god of many other things. So this pen definitely needs to be opened to do it justice. Uh, let's see if we get it. It's not focusing. It's a bit difficult with, I think, the various sources of light here. Uh, there we go. So the pen barrel is... Uh, well, it's inscribed with this pattern and then enameled with this very interesting turquoise color. Uh, so let's see, I had a chance to see it in the store, so I know how it works. Uh, it's unusual not only because of this long cap, uh, but because of the filling mechanism. So there, open. Uh, so it makes it unusual, obviously, first glance, very easy to tell. This long cap is, uh, well, it confused me at first. I was wondering why, why is it? like this. Where's the cap? Was it out of proportion or what? Uh, but yeah, the the entire thing is basically designed to entirely conceal the red pen barrel. Uh, nope, not going to cooperate. Nope. Okay, so let's see. First, the pen barrel. Uh, so you get slightly, slightly different color. I guess the camera's giving it a different hue. Uh, it's more on the turquoise side than the sort of blue side. Uh, now, as I understand it, the emperors, the Aztec emperors, used to wear cloaks of this color, uh, and I think that's that's where the symbolism comes from. There's the limited edition number. I've not had a chance to read any of the the information on the symbolism. So we'll just sort of wing it. This is designed, I think, to mimic a pot handle that used to be wrapped with string. Uh, and you've got, I think, a spear as the pen clip. A uh, massively long spear. And at the top, you've got the sunstone. So one of the things that Moctezuma is known for is uh, uh, a sunstone that uh, is quite... Uh, well, quite interesting. It contains quite a lot of symbolism, uh, and it was used, as I understand it, 
during ritual battles, battle reenactments, uh, when hostages or captors or sort of captives would be tied in some way to the center of the sunstone and then uh, Aztec warriors would reenact a combat. Uh, so during Moctezuma's reign, a period of famine sort of struck, and I think for three or four years they were, uh, they were struggling with that, and the sacrifices were their way of restoring balance to uh, the system that they saw nourish them. So I'm not sure which... Uh, the symbolism of this particular aspect of the, the spear, but yeah. Uh, there you go, that's the pen cap. That's definitely by far the most intricate part of the pen. Uh, and then two additional symbols here on the bottom. Uh, not too sure if they're printed or inscribed. It feels like they're printed on the under the enamel. Uh, so this is champagne gold coated. Uh, and, uh, well... That's all, all the parts are champagne gold. Uh, I'm not sure if I like this particular part of the part of the pen. It's once again a hammered aesthetic, like the writer's edition Leo Tolstoy. Uh, but I don't know, for me it reminds me of a know, almost like a shiv. Uh, I'm sure there's some symbolism there. And it feels, this particular part of the pen feels quite light. So altogether, obviously the pen is quite heavy because of the size of the barrel, uh, but the uh, the pen itself is light and I guess easy to wield. Now let's see if we can get a uh, close up of the, of the nib, which seems to portray, I guess a cactus. I feel like saying it's a bird, but it might be a cactus. Let's have a look later uh, in the booklet. Now, the way this is filled, once again, great nails, the way this is filled is uh, unlike the usual piston fillers. So for this one, you have to first pull the pen cap out and then use it as you would uh, any other piston filler. Obviously, this way, the uh, pen can be pulled out of the out of the large pen uh, pen cap, I suspect this pen is going to be one that's going to be dropped quite a lot uh, by people who aren't familiar with it because of the small area that you have actually to unscrew the pen. So obviously, most pens have like a what, uh, one third pen cap and the rest a pen body, which is obviously a lot easier to manipulate, but with this you've got to fiddle around with this very small portion here. Unscrew it and then pull it out, uh, almost like unsheathing a sword. Now I'm a bit disappointed by the red of this pen. It's just, uh, I don't know if it's lacquer, I don't think it's lacquer, I think it might be just precious resin. It feels very, uh, it, do it doesn't feel special the way the pen cap is. It's simply uh, monochrome red. Uh, yeah. So I was eager to share that with you because it is a very unusual, very unusual uh, design choice to have. <sighs> Come on. Such a large, uh, well, such a large pen cap. Come on. Nope. There we go. Such a large pen cap. Uh, compared to the pen itself. Definitely makes an interesting curiosity for any collection. Uh, yeah, but once again, a bit bit weak on the, the red barrel. I, I'm a bit disappointed with that. So I showed you what was in the, in the box. Uh, no false bottom. But let's see if I can quickly find for you a bit more detail of the, uh, the nib. So that's the, the sunstone. They have quite a few sunstones, but I think the one that uh, he's most known for has a hole in the center here where they used to stick a cross uh, from where they used to attach the, the people, like I said. Mm. Yes, yeah, so they do say the proper name, so Matazuma Ilhui Kamina. 
Mm, and then there's the nib. No, I can't figure out what, what that is. Have some fun, look it up on your own. Uh, and there you have it. So I'm a bit disappointed that there's not as much detail in the book to explain the symbolism. Uh, since I'm not a retailer of Mont Blanc, I don't have access to their informational booklets, uh, a retailer and so sort of other YouTubers who make these types of reviews who do sell the pens themselves will have access to the, the full list of uh, characteristics and the symbolisms involved. Uh, that's, that's, well, that's why I can't, uh, can't quite give you as much detail about what's included in the pen's uh, inspirations. Come on. There we go. It definitely, it definitely feels special. Uh, it definitely feels unusual. It definitely doesn't feel like a fountain pen. Uh, it feels more like another type of implement. Uh, but yeah, definitely fantastic. Uh, if you've not had a chance to uh, see this before, uh, I'm quite glad to be able to share it with you. It is such a, such a nice thing. I do like it quite a lot. It is growing on me. Uh, yeah. But once again, if it wouldn't be for that red monochrome barrel. Uh, I guess the other thing that you're going to have with this is that the, uh, the process of entering it or uncapping it might lead to lots of scratches on that red, red barrel. You can feel sometimes a bit of friction. Uh, I was hoping that they might have a bit of plastic on the inside here as sort of like a maybe like a, a an o-rig in there to keep that from happening but it seems like it's simply simply metal come on yeah it's simply a metal a metal fitting uh so there you have it uh the latest patron of the art uh Kazuma the first for april 2020